America, I got another good one for y'all. I keep telling y'all I'm going to bring them through. You understand me? I keep telling y'all I'm going to bring them through. And today, I am bringing through my favorite player on Jackson State University's football team. You understand me? Before I introduce them to you, y'all need to go ahead and do that. It costs you nothing to hit that button. Go ahead and do that. You feel me? Because I have a man who hails from M-Town, Memphis, Tennessee. You understand me? I have a man who played his football at White Haven High School, and he led them to a state title. So he's been a winner wherever he is, America. Okay, that's just what he does. You feel me? I have a man who was a four-star prospect coming out of high school. See, see, that's why I don't know what these folks be talking about. All we got is Travis Hunter. We, we got them boys. What is wrong with these folks? You understand me? I have a man who played his football initially at Missouri in the SEC from 2017 to 2019. And while he was there, America, he was on the SEC academic honor roll in 2018. You know I love that. You know I'm a scholar, you feel me? So I, you know I got to point that out, America. I have a man who we had the, the privilege to finally see suit up for Jackson State University in the spring of 2021. And in that shortened spring season, he had one of the biggest games of the year versus Grambling when he had 18 tackles. And he had one of the biggest plays of the year on the goal line when he caused the fumble to save the game. Y'all remember that play? I know you remember that play because this man saved y'all some money. Some of y'all had them side bets and y'all that type of stuff. Y'all would need barbershops and y'all were talking and this man saved y'all some money. He saved some of these folks from coming at y'all on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and y'all text message. Y'all need to cash out this man. Y'all owe this man some money. Okay, I got one of them ones, you understand? Last year, he took it to another level, okay? A whole nother level when he led the whole swack in tackles with 109, including six and a half sacks, okay? He was a swag defensive player of the week, and he was first team all swag. You know I like that. America, again, this is my favorite player going into this season, you understand? So I'm happy to present to you, Aubrey Miller, Jr. What's going on, big dog? How you doing, man, what it is? Man, 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 trying to get it, trying to get it, trying to get it. But look here, we ain't gonna hold up. We're gonna go ahead and get the people what they want, you feel me? Yes, sir. Uh, I like to ask all of y'all this, uh, that I have on, uh, because so many people think that and HBCU, even if it's Jackson State, ain't supposed to get the stud athletes like yourself, okay? So what influenced you to go to Jackson State? Um, I mean, the big picture is, uh, you know, Coach Prime making that move and me seeing the opportunity to be able to change the narrative of my life and also have fun with my culture. Uh, you know, a lot of guys coming out of high school, they don't see HBCUs as a big thing to go to, and I think Coach Prime changed that. Um, as well as the coach staff as well. So me being able to perform in front of my people and still be able to live my dream uh, while doing so. Okay. Yeah. Now you mentioned the culture, okay? So that leads me to my next question then. What have been some of the biggest differences you've seen uh, playing at a PWI like Missouri and then playing at, at Jack State University? Uh, I mean, the resources first. Uh, resources are a big thing, you know. Uh, you see the difference between the resources that they have, the resources that we have. But they teach you how to do things on your own. Uh, another thing is the crowd, you know, the fan base. Um, is way more enthusiasm than ours. Uh, ours being the JSU. Uh, it's so much fun, man. The Greek life is amazing. Uh, the fans are amazing, outstanding. Uh, you know, the sonic boom, that band is one of a kind. You know, you don't get that in PWIs, not one of them, if you ask me. Right. As well as the food, you know, the food that they serve here is, is completely different. It's the Southern hospitality, uh, you know, at PWIs, you really don't get that. Try and match it, but, you know, they can't get there. Yeah. Like I said, man, the, the culture uh, of its own, the atmosphere is, is completely different as well. Now, you mentioned the Greek life. If I'm not mistaken, you're a cute all right? Oh, yeah, you already know the greatest. Yeah, <laughs> okay. All right. Well, well, shout out to uh, 
one of my brothers, Jason Clay. He one of your bros. And shout out uh, to K.O. Martin. He's a Jackson State grad. I'm going to be interviewing him uh, soon. So I know they're going to be happy to see you on here, dog. Um, you, you a head buster, dog. Ain't no way around it. You a straight up dog, straight up head bust out there on that field. Uh, that's part of the reason that I like your game because it's controlled violence, though. You ain't out there just acting crazy, you know what I'm talking about? It's yeah. controlled violence, you know what I'm talking about? But who inspired your aggressive style of play? Like, like you intense with it, you're aggressive, but you're still smart with it. So, like, where did that come from? Was it high school coach or, or somebody you watched in the NFL, your pops? Who, where did that come from? Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, uh, my dad, for uh, the biggest – Biggest influence on that man. He don't want to burn the violence out of him, you know. Show me how to where to trigger my uh, base, where to release myself. Uh, my first hit I ever did was in football. Was a big hit, you know. Doing Oklahoma jury, I was introduced that, to that my first time ever playing football. So, mm -hmm. uh, and he kind of used to always show me Ray Lewis hits and uh, man, I, all the highlights that they show on YouTube, you know, the big hits. Uh, so you know, little things like that, man. It's kind of like he brainwashing it to me, you know, and you used to always tell me you hit them first before they hit you and won't hurt. So uh, I used to always take that in, man, and, you know, see where it lead, uh, led me to, uh, you know, a lot of highlights in middle school, small leagues, uh, minor leagues, I meant to say. I said minor leagues, uh, little league football. Yeah. Even through high school, throughout college in Mizzou, you know, it's just always been part of my game. So I was bringing the thud to it. Now, uh, you mentioned Ray Lewis. And that's crazy because that's what you be putting me in the mind of. You know what I'm talking about? Now, now I know that's a, a high bar. You feel me? Because that that man, they're goat level. You feel me? But when I'm watching you play, like I be seeing you roaming out there, like 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 Ray Ray. You feel me? Yeah. Like, that, like you you the Ray Ray of our defense. Yes, sir. I mean, this this is who I look up to. You know, like I said, I got brainwashed to it and fell in love with it, man. The style of his play, the energy. Uh, before he comes out in the game, how he defeats the game before he even, you know, line up across the way. So uh, I just try and mimic him uh, in kind of ways. And, you know, of course I can't beat him, but uh, at least try and be better than him as far as mirroring him as well. That's dope. That's dope. Uh, you and Coach Prime have had some interesting moments, okay? I think our first interaction was y'all had beat somebody. And you went over there, you gave Cole Prime one of them one, like to the chest real quick. You, know yeah. you stopped that scound dead in the tracks, you feel me? Yes, sir. Uh, and I know that went viral on social media, and somebody was like, man, that seemed personal. And then I had clipped y'all moment from the Coach Prime doc where he had kind of got up under your skin a little bit. He was chewing y'all out about grades or something. And you could tell you felt some type of way because, you, you know, you care. You feel me? Yes, sir. And and so I told him, yeah, that was a person when he hit that scale like that. So having those moments with coach, uh, and then him on on season two, him spending a whole lot of time letting us know how much you've grown and how proud of you he is and stuff. So how has uh Coach Prime his staff been able to help you grow as a player? Um, they basically pick at things I didn't know they need to change. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, as far as they helped me grow uh, mentally, you know, as far as being a pro athlete, um, you know, and no, knowing that, I guess because of the how great he is, you know, and I find myself wanting to be up there to the level he is. He understands that I had a potential. So he's pushing me in ways that, you know, maybe figures that people in the future could do. So you know what I'm saying? So uh, making me mature as a guy. As far as uh, do making grown man decisions, you know, doing things on my own as well, putting me through hard times so I know how to maneuver out my way out of it. But, yeah, uh, but just pushing me in ways I didn't think I could be pushed. Uh, you know, always testing me every day. It's never a dull moment where uh, he's not, you know, jumping on my butt. So he's always doing so, man. Make sure he stays on my neck 24-7. And you know, I don't think I caught a break yet. So, you know, I'm just going to keep taking it, uh, just keep taking it in, man, and just keep focusing on What's the uh, important goal? Keeping the main thing, main thing. Well, how is it having a coach like that with so much stature in the football community? I was talking to my brothers about this. Now, I, I don't think it's a coach in, in maybe in the history of college football. Uh, definitely not right now. I just say right now. 
that has his resume as what he's done as a player. Like Nick Saban coaches DBs over there at uh at Alabama, but he can't play no DB. You right. feel me? It's like, but then you got the GOAT DB as your uh, as your coach. So how is it having him and having somebody with such uh stature like that in the game? I mean, it's it's complete it's a complete blessing. Um, you know, you can't take those things for granted. You know, you know, I just like I said, I just take it in. Uh, I don't think the normal person can be coached by him because he expects so much, he's done so much that you know he can't take an excuse. And uh, especially the air, if you don't get air from me, this one any guy who's uh, pretty good at what they do, they they're not gonna accept it. So uh, it's definitely a different feeling, uh, definitely a different vibe. But you know, knowing that what he did is, and, and I'm playing under him, he's gonna push me. You know, and the publicity is gonna come by itself. You do good, be a baller. You know, saying so gonna put his dogs out there. So. Yes, sir. Now, y'all had a marvelous season last year, okay? We lost two games. I keep telling folks uh, we could have won the Monroe game. Y'all, that defensive unit, y'all was stellar. We lost the uh, Celebration Bowl. But we got put into some short field situations and stuff like that where, you know, it put pressure on the defense. Uh, but as a unit, y'all were incredible yeah. the entire year. I just let America know that individually you were incredible leading the swag and tackles and getting first team all swag. So what do you want to do after that? What's your goal going into this year, whether it's your individual goal and y'all goal as a team? Because I already told America that we're going undefeated. Book it. I didn't told them to book it. <laughs> Take it to the bank, yeah. go to Vicksburg, go to the casino. I know you are M-Town, boy. They can go up there to Tunica. You know what I'm talking about? You know that they got them casinos up in there. Come on, that's where my, that's where my people always used to go. All right. They can go there and put in the ticket because y'all going on the feet. Okay? But what are y'all goals? You individually and as a team. I start off individually. Uh, individually, I mean, of course, I want to complete any any kid's dream that's going pro. That's playing in the National League. And uh, I actually want to play a couple years there. I want to be an inspiring to little kids and to guys who grew up the same way I did, to guys who grew up lower than I did, even over, uh, to guys who look down on it and, you know, think that they got everything, you know, not and, and take things for granted. I want to be an inspirer. So uh biggest thing is, of course, go to the league. I want to win a championship individually and team-wise. That's, that's what we want to do. We want to win a championship and we want to be able to leave a legacy that uh, can't be matched. I want to be able to represent well. And of course, I want to represent my last name as well. I want to make this name go viral. You know, I want this name to be everywhere in the world. I want people, even in China, to know who Millers are, uh, to know who the Walkers are, you know, and uh, and, that, and that's one of the biggest things, man. I just want to be remembered. Uh, I want to, uh, what I want to say, I want to dominate. The team wants to dominate everything. Uh, the answer to everything is dominate. Uh, whether it's running to the ball, whether it's winning, whether it's school, we want to dominate and everything, you know. And like I said, represent HBCU and, uh, you know, it, it's so much in a short amount of words, but yeah, we want to dominate everything. He talking my language, America. Y'all hear that? He even slid school up in there. They want to dominate school. He talking my language, America. I'm telling y'all, we finna do something this year. Well, um, I can't let you get out of here without making you put it on something now. All right, that's what we do here. You feel me? I got these you. are these are fun. I do them with everybody. They light, but they uh they do put you on the spot. Okay. So you ready to get it? I hope there ain't no history, man. I don't know give it. Oh, no, 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 no. Ain't nothing like that. Ain't nothing like that. All you. right. This is all stuff you should know. Okay. All right. Start, bench, cut. Start, bench, cut. All three of these cats are stud linebackers. Like I said, you a stud linebacker. You a heat seeker. You a go getter. You feel me? Head bustle. All right. So I need you to basically tell me how you ranking these Three head busters. Right, you're going to start one of them. You're going to bench one of them. And then you got to send one home. You know what I'm talking about. All right. Here we go. Bobby Wagner. OG. Demario Davis. Okay. And another HBCU graduate from South Carolina State. Darius Leonard. Start bench cut. Yeah. Look at that face, America. That's what I do here. Got to put it on something. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable because uh, Mario, my dog, you know, I, I got I got to meet, have some conversation with 
Ain't nothing personal, just strictly business. Just strictly of business. Course, you gotta start by the way. Okay. I mean, that guy. That's the guy my dad always talked about. Uh, he said Darius Leonard. Is that what you said? Yeah. Uh huh. Bob Mar Wagner, Demario Davis, and Darius Leonard. <laughs> All them boys going, boy. Them boys there. Woo! Even on mad, them boys be going. Big Big Davis, he's still doing his thing right now. Uh, I don't, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. It's a hard one for me. Uh, I, I ain't really done my research. As far as digging into the other two, but uh, okay, I'm gonna start Bobby Wagner. Ah, damn, man. <laughs> I'm gonna bitch. Ah, see, you got him. Look at him. Look at him, America. This my stud linebacker too, though. <laughs> he decisive on that field. Don't get it twisted. But I got him right now. Start Bobby Wagner. I'm gonna bitch. Ah. I'm a bitch. There is no more. Oh, um, okay, Mario, man. Ooh, cut the homie. Strictly business, though. Strictly business. Business. Strictly business. All right. You're from that M town. And y'all are known for having some of the dopest rappers in the South, okay? Legendary rap scene in Memphis, Tennessee, okay? So I'm going to get three camps to you, okay? Three different Memphis affiliated camps. Okay. Uh, and this is what I'm gonna need you to do. I'm gonna need you to turn up one, turn up one, right? Turn down the right. second one. Turn up. And then the last one, you deleting it. It's gone. Yeah. It's not on nobody playlist, no Spotify, no title, nowhere. Gone. All right. Yeah. Hypnotized minds. So you know that's three six mafia in there. <laughs> DJ Paul, Juicy J, Le Chat, Gangsta Boo, Project Pat, all them boys over there, okay. Mm -hmm. CMG, so that you know that's Got It, that's Bag, that's uh, Black Youngster, okay. You don't say that, man. And Paper Route Empire, okay. So that's Lonely Adolph, okay. That's Glizzot, okay? So, turn up one, turn down, last one, delete. You know, I'm an old school cat, so I'm going to turn that 3 seeds Mafia up. I'm gonna turn Ooh, what you know about that, young blood? Oh, okay. I said, Pat, you talking about any of them guys, you know, I'm going to turn that up. I'm All gonna, right. I, you know, I'm going to turn out CMG. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's long lived. Long live dog. Long live dog. Hey, but I'm impressed by that. See, your pop, your pops and the, your, your OGs been teaching you right. They've been putting on some of that old school 36 for you. Man, I like it. As I get up off, I'm finna cut on some of that. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right, last one, last one, last one. Y'all boy be dripped out, man. Y'all be, be having a lot of folk hating on y'all. Y'all stay dripped out as a football team. Not only do y'all go out there and head bust, y'all be dripped out, all right? Uh, I want to say, Cole Prime, say something to the effect that uh, if you look good, you feel good, you feel good, you play good, you play good, they pay good. You feel me? So I want to know which hat, which helmet you prefer to take out there to battle. Which one of your hats you prefer to go out there and put on somebody's chest? You feel me? Is it the traditional helmet? You like that white joint? Or you like them them chrome things with that I believe on it? Or is it another one that you like? So, you know what I'm saying? Them traditional helmets, I, I just like railroad speeds, you know. And those helmets protect me the best when I hit somebody. You know, I think I done did some of my biggest hits in those. Uh, okay. The chromes are nice, but, you know, that wasn't my favorite. Well, I don't know if you seen the helmets that we had with the with the – I guess it was like it was like a white helmet it had the blue and red stripe at the bottom of it. Uh huh. We wore a lot with with black jerseys, but uh, damn, we had a lot of helmets. You know what I'm saying? Y'all dripped out, man. Y'all y'all the envy of a lot of teams. You feel My, me? The drip and the game. It'd probably be the traditional because I, I look more scary in those. You know, no face masks. I was wearing things out, so putting on that helmet it was kind of look like something. So yeah, I go with the traditional. 
American. This is a linebacker through and through. This man picked his helmet off of what he looks scarier in. This is a linebacker right here. That's a classic <laughs> linebacker answer right there. You feel me? And I love that. Man, well, this has been dope, man. Dope, dope, dope. Like I told you, you are the first football player that I reached out to, kind of like with the uh, uh, women's basketball team. I reached out to Maya Crump first because that was my favorite player. And I wanted to reach out to you because you were my favorite player uh, coming into this season. And uh, But before we go, please let these folks know where they can follow you and, and all y'all real ones, America, everybody watching it, y'all make sure y'all run this young blood up. These young men are walking businesses. We have to help them get this money in this NIL space. So let them know where they can follow you. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Aubrey Miller 45, A U B R E Y Miller 45. You can follow me on Instagram at Loose Cannon with a Q. So L O O S C Q A N N O N. And uh, yeah, you can you catch me there, man. You can follow me on TikTok if you want to, but now nah, we can leave that out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wherever he is, go run it up, America. Like I said, we got to help them get this money. You feel me? All these other institutions that we we competing with, we say we want to be. Uh, 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 competing with these PWIs. Well, when a stud like this chooses to come to an HBCU, got to help him out, help him get that money. You feel me? So, appreciate you, Young King. They've been dope. One. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me across all social media platforms. Like the videos and share them. Did I forget anything? Enter on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, Visit Statement Tees, LLC.com, and shop with us. That's Statement Tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.